Okay, so tuloy natin, no? Uh, we're done with these two items. The setup, the geometry, no? So, I've given you three ways on how are you going to model your structure or the geometry of your structure instead, no? Number one is making use of the available tools instead. Second is by Run Structure Wizard and then by CAD. So, if your structure is irregular, I advise you to make use of CAD, no? Para hindi ka mahirapan sa pagmumodel ng structure mo dun sa kay SAD, no? So, we go now with the third specs, no? Which is the general. So, under general, may limang sub-pages, uh, no? Property, specs, supports, uh, loads and definition, and then material. Uh, but before we go to that, no? Let's try to check the incidences of your uh, trust members, no? So, this is what we call beam, no? All of the members here are beam instead. So, if you hover or with your mouse, you have you can see the green, red, and then the blue color, no? So, the shortcut is for you to put a shift E. No? You can see there is green, and then if you select the, this member, this is there is a red one. And then the, this one is blue. No? So the, re, the green one indicates that that is the start of the beam. And then the blue one will be the end of the beam. Okay, so uh, following the syntax of start, you must model from left to right. Then from bottom to top. On. Okay, so if this is not arranged in order, no? Uh, there's no problem to that. You just need to select this one. Okay, you just need to select this uh, whole structure and then you go with tools and then redefine incidence. No? And then hit number 2, the second item. Set the incidence order of the selected beam so that start node is closer to the origin than the end node. Okay, so hit OK and then you can just again uh, check, shift E. So start end, start end, start end. No? So okay na yan. Shifty again to remove the uh, color coding. Now, oh, yeah. One thing more that I'm doing no, when I'm modeling is that I will be grouping my elements. No? So, top chord, and then bottom chord, and then Y members. So, I will go with tools, and then... Uh, hanapin mo to, no? Create new group or control G. Okay, so I will separate the windward and then I will separate the leeward, TC-1. Okay, the select type is beam because this is beam instead. Hit OK and then uh, select, hit control the top chord on the windward and then associate. No? So from unassigned, it is assigned. Create again a new one and then TC-2. You go to B, hit OK, and select the other side for the leeward, and then associate. Okay, and then create for the bottom chord. You go with beam. Okay, and assigned. Window selection, assign, and then create web members. Beam again, hit OK. Then I will change my selection cursor. No? Right click, selection mode, and then drag line. Drag this one from left to right or from right to left ka, to select those members and then associate. Then close. Okay, so let's now go to the first uh, sub pages of general property. Okay, so. You go with section database because we will be making use of steel. You just wait for a while. Then under American, no, you have a lot of countries no, available on this uh, library. So you go with American and then hit angle. Uh, this is what I'm telling you on the first lecture. No? Uh, the notation with respect to angle under American. So, that, so to read the sizes, 
to read this notation under American, you have 20, 20, and then 2. No? So the 20 here is, you try to select that one as, read that one as 2 inches, and then the second one is 2 inches, 2 inches again. And then the third one is 2 divided by 16. Okay? So, our section comprises of a double angle, 2 by 2 by 3 out of 16, and then a single angle, 2 by 2 by 2 out of 16. So, you go with 2 by 2 by 3 out of 16, double angle. No, there are two, there are two types again no? of a double angle here. You have a long leg back to back, and then the short leg back to back. Either way, no? Kasi pares naman yung length and width mo. Two, 2 inches and then 2 inches. Length width, no? So, you can make use of long leg or short leg. I will just go to long leg back to back. And then, put a gasset plate into it, no? Kasi manipis. Uh, 3 out of 16, the thickness, no? So, I will put a gasset plate, probably. Of a thickness of 5 mm. So, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 005 5 mm okay and then add so it will be popping on the side and then select this one i will just select the single section from the button and then add and then close okay so i will go for the first section and then select by group name so that i will <laughs> use the groupings that i have Created a while ago. No? So, top chord 1, top chord 2, then bottom chord, and then assign to selected beams. Assign mo na lang. Yes. Okay. Go for the second one. Tanggalin ko na to. Select the web members, and then assign to selected beams. See it okay? Uh, yes. Close. Okay. So, let's try to render our truss. So, yeah, no? you just need to magnify and magnify and magnify. So, there's no problem with our top chord. No? Yung bottom chord, I think, baliktad. Okay, so this section should be at the bottom. And then on the web members, uh, naka 45. No? This leg, this leg here should be aligned. No? Dito sa... Uh, along this direction. Okay, so we go again with general. Yeah. And then under property, no? Under property, section. And then you go with beta angle. Okay, so for here, uh, no need for top chord. For the bottom chord, 180 degrees. And then the web members would be 45 degrees. Okay, so beta angle. Create a beta angle and then angle in degrees 180. Okay, create beta angle again and then 45 degree. Hit okay. Select this one. This is for the bottom chord. Oh no, my cursor. Right click, selection mode, and then drag box. Uh, window selection and then assign to selected beams. Okay, and then the beta angle, right click, selection mode, drag line. Para mabilis ka, or you make use of the selection mode on by group. And then, assign. Okay. So, we're done with the first sub-page of general property. Okay, so we go now with uh, specs. Na? So, these are cut bars. Itong mga to, the web members are cut bars. Okay, so I will tell Stan that that should be a truss. Meaning to say, that will just under be in actual, as, a, as an actual member. So it will receive either tension or incompression. Okay, so I will go with specs. Beam. Because this is a beam. Again, you go with truss and then add. Okay, so there is a member truss and by drag line again, I will dictate start that that would be under trust. Assign to selected beams and then assign. Okay, so you go now with support. 
Okay, what would be the support of this truss? No? So, on the joint, no, it is, it is assumed that that would be hinges coming from our mechanics. No? But what about the support? Is it fixed? Is it a hinge or is it a roller? Okay. So, let's take a look at this one. No? So, if you assign this one as a fixed support, fixed support, fixed support, and then again, a uh, fixed support. Okay, ano mangyayari dyan, no? So, ito kung nasira tong column na to, would that be fixed? Dito naman, no? kung nasira to, would this be fixed? So, it's no longer fixed, no? Everything is deformable. So, do, there's no such thing as fix. Okay, so, I will go and create, no? Uh, th th these are the types of support fix, pin, fix, but no? this is where you put you assign your or you create your roller. No? But let's just go with pin. No? So uh, FX, FY, and then FC. That is a reaction of FX, FY, and then FC. And we'll just add that one. Okay, and we'll just uh, say this one. So that would be support 2. No? Yung una, no support. Yung na create natin is support 2. Okay, so if uh, take a look now, yung mouse ko and dito, no, if I will go, uh, I will get out from the data area, it become a node cursor. Okay, so I will just select this one. Oh no, escape. Yeah, uh, click again, right click, and then uh, selection mode, drag box. Support so 2, drag this one, or shift K ka na lang, ha? Shift K para ma kita mo yung node. Okay, so select this uh, support to hit control. Uh, node cursor ka. Select mo yan, select mo yan, and then assign. Okay, so we're done now with the property, specs, and then support. Now we go with materi material, no? So, alam ko na yung property is an angle, no? And the material should be steel. So, this should conform on the material under the subpage, no? So, if you try to click this one, dapat naka-steel yan. 